fucking get, do something, but you're not gonna do anything right now today. Get him! We went to a team building seminar, now we're invincible. I caught somebody. One Glorcon clone fell back and yeah, I caught him. Me, little trust. fucking losers. That's what you call trust. We trust each other. Us clones trust each other. You can't spell trust without us. That's what we learned in the seminar. Yeah. When you destroyed our encampment in that other world, you up, we had a seminar about trust. We lifted a Glorcon clone above our heads as a group. Because that's trust. We learned about trust. I'll fuck you up. You killed so many of us already. Why are you, you keep murdering us? I'm gonna fuck you up, punk. You should have never messed up our encampment. We were having a good time there. I'm gonna fuck you. I'm trying to do call my roommate room. Stop hitting my floating cube screen. Now let me get back to what I was talking about. You little motherfuckers, you think you got me, you think you figured me out, but you can't, you can't get past the munchkin blood. You'll never get past the munchkin blood. Oh, thank God, partner. I was sick of hearing that son of a bitch. My old roommate, Mr. Liar McLionson. Guy lies about everything. I don't, all the shit he said is a lie. Let's figure out how to get into the roommate spot. Get that other crystal baby and get the fuck out of here! Oh. 
I can't. I can't. F oh my god, it's people! Holy shit, you guys gotta get the fuck out of here quick! The guy who runs this place is insane! Relax, dude, we know, we can- No! Don't you relax, dude me! You don't get it! I used to be the same size as you, but look what they did to me! I'm a monster! I came here because I thought it was a zoo, but it's not. Yeah, I know. We, but, we just... But I've been trapped in here for ten years. I, that's a decade. Look at me. I'm so hungry and fat and horny. Oh, my God. Please. Please, you have to feed me. Feed me. Man, I, I feel bad for this guy. We, we got to help him out, partner. Please? All I want is some yellow num-nums. That's the yellow nummy. That's the one I want. I want it now. The nummy num. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, num num num. Oh, it's so good. It's so freaking good. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I want a blue one. I don't want that one. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You do not know how hungry I was. Oh. Hey, question for you. And you can say no if you want, but would you mind feeding me some blue num-num? Oh, I love the blue num-num. It puts yellow to shame. I love the fuck out of the num-nums that are blue. Come on, man, we don't have time for this. We need to find the other crystal baby. Crystal baby? Why, the crystal baby exhibit is right behind me. God damn it, of course it is. I thought maybe you were sitting on it or something. Tell you what. You toss me one more tasty treat, and I'll roll right out of your way. Whoa! Come on! Toss me a tasty blue treat! Come on, man! Whoa. You dense? The blue feeder is right over there! Way up there! Over there, to the left! That's the blue feeder! Bastards. Sure showed them though. That'll teach them a lesson. Hope they brought in hell. Uh, all right, fine. Great. make sure it's blue. Green power, baby, in the hole. I swear to God, I usually never eat like this. I used to be in such great shape. I could run. I even had my own workout video. Bartholomew's ball busting buff bod and beach buns. And let me tell you, I would kick. Yes, blue. Oh. Chewy, chewy, y'all. Yeah, that's great. No one cares. Now get the hell out of my way. I will. I swear I will. Just as soon as you toss that little juicy bug down there, right into my mouth. Oh, that's sick! You wanna eat those too? What? In some countries, it's considered a delicacy, and you wanna know why? Cause these little suckers are to die for. I like to bite off their yep, heads. Yep, that's a worm. 
Oh, that's good stuff. I love them. Oh. 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 Hmm. <clears throat> How come it tastes so good? Yet I feel so bad. This still ain't enough. Papa Boy needs to eat. Go to that cliff, the one in front of me. That's where you can activate my num num maker. Jesus, how big is this guy gonna get? Aren't you full already? Good lord, can you just give us the crystal baby? Shut up and feed me. All right, fine, fine, but this better be worth our time. You better not be jerking us around. God fucking damn it, it's a goddamn motherfucking titty sucking two ball bitch green power baby. Okay, that looks like the platform. Hurry, okay, I easy. can't take it anymore. I need more. More! That cliff, right, the here one I'm are. pointing to. With my finger. Feed me the numbs. Oh shit, look at that. A, a, a little, another button. I, I can get it. Drop me down there and I'll hit yeah, that. Yeah, the yellow nummy. I want a yellow one. Drop me down there and I'll hit... Stop fighting each other. I need to eat. There's a yellow. I want it. I want it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. oh fuck you up. Oh. I'm coming out here. Oh, that felt real stretchy. Oh, oh, I'm still hungry, though. Oh, oh, lady. oh it's so unrelated. Yes, I want to eat all day. Don't die, Purple Pal! I need you to feed me! There's some blue, blue, blue! I want blue! Oh, I'm still hungry. I'm so full, but I'm so hungry, but I'm so full. This is exciting stuff! You guys are really going at it! Bad. Oh no. Ooh, hang in there. What hang the in fuck there, is buddy. happening? Oh, I don't feel good. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Gail's roommate ate the crystal baby? Well, I wouldn't have ever done that, so I clearly was a better roommate than this character ever could have been. Even though we realized he's not actually his roommate and was clearly trapped here against his will. Well, I hope you're happy. You ruined my zoo, you stole my crystal babies, and you killed my the best roommate I ever had. You may as well have just shit in my mouth and stuck a twig between my little bags, because that's how I feel. The front gates are open, Trover. I'm sorry, Gail, but the entire cosmos is at stake. Oh, 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 woe is me. The cosmos is at stake. Well, guess what, Trover? I'm going to Jamaica, and I'm gonna eat pizza nuggets, and I'm gonna get lasagna, and there's a lasagna pizza nugget. I told you he was fucking crazy. You believe anything he said? It's all lies. Come. Come, AIDS piss. Come, AIDS piss. Come, AIDS piss. Lasagna. McNugget. Come, AIDS piss. Lasagna. Chicken nuggets. Pizza nuggets. Pizza nuggets. Put them in the oven. Put them in the oven. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. Come. Come, AIDS piss. Turtle come. Turtle come. Turtle AIDS. Turtle AIDS. Turtle. Cherubian AIDS. Cherubian AIDS. Cherubian come. Pizza, pizza AIDS nuggets. Pizza. like a dead hooker's mouth in here. Hey, you guys. Yeah, you two over here. Oh, look over here. I'm in the Holy prison shit, cell. partner. Is that Donnie, the upgrade hey, teddy dude, guy's brother? Here. I know what that button does. It opens up that door in this jail cell. God, I can't wait to be free and breathe the fresh air. Feel the warmth of the sun. I'm gonna hop on my hop and just fucking go. Man. It's a fuck, 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 green power, baby. Use me in the open road, the wind blowing through my hair with, with all the cares in the rear view mirror. I'm gonna be all right. This would be a pretty good place for a first date, I gotta tell you. 
thanks. It's good to be free. Well, aren't you gonna go? Nah, but it's good to know that I keep. Well, on that note, can we please get out of here? We gotta move the fuck out of here. Holy shit, it's a green power, baby. I'm the guy over here in the prison. Oh, crap, partner, where are you? I can't see anything. It's, it's pitch black in here. I can barely breathe in here. You gotta get me out. It's like, a, it's like a wet Rusty Robbins in here. Have you ever eaten a Rusty Robbins? That's what it's like in here. Look, look for a switch or some sort of nipple out there. Look for one of those tasty little green nips to whip. Oh my god, sweet loving oxygen, I can- I'm downgrade Donnie! Holy shit, I, hey, we know you! I, I mean, we know your brother, Teddy! Oh, great jugs. Please, you gotta get me out of here. They arrested me for downgrading someone, but it's not my fault. I'm downgrade Donnie, that's what I do. Donnie, listen to me really carefully. Do you have your heart medication? My heart medication? Who fucking cares about my heart medication? If you don't get me out of here, I'm gonna give you a fucking downgrade. Ha! Oh! Oh my god, my heart! I think I'm having a heart attack! Oh shit, oh. he's dying! <sighs> Donnie! Donnie! Oh shit, he's, he's dead! Oh shit, you got an achievement! That makes it all worth it! I was so caught up in the moment, I didn't even realize what we were doing. You know, we, we, we just force-fed someone to death. It's what he wanted though, right? I mean, he died doing what he loves. Come over here. Holy shit, I didn't think you guys would make it. Did you find Donnie? Did you find my baby bro? Hey, dude, what's up? Yeah, no, we, we found your baby bro in there, for sure. Why isn't he here? Is he okay? No, listen, I, don't freak out, all right? But he died, okay? He died. He, he He's fucking dead, man. We're all gonna fucking die. No, you... Bastards! How could you? Everyone in my life is dying. Everyone, including you guys, eventually, and me. Death, it's a part of life. Give it a try. Hey, whoa, man, don't put that kind of stuff on us. He never even got to wear his orgasm donor t-shirt. Why? Hey, partner, let's get out of here before we have to give our condolences. I can't believe my fucking brother's dead. He was the glue that held this family together. <laughs> well, that was a stupid fucking level. Remind me never to come back. All right, listen, don't forget to dump off your power babies. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe that I got another hit point. This is my fourth new hit point. I'm so strong now, partner. I'm so strong and I feel so good. Believe it, partner. You got all the green power babies, despite the fact that we were dealing with my fucking weird old roommate and we were trapped in this bizarre flesh zoo slash prison. I love you, partner. I fucking love you. You got all the green power babies on this level. 
Trover, Chair Orpian, tell me you got some good news. Don't let me down. Good news, boss. We got all the crystal babies. Well, tickle my pickle green. If someone had told me that a burnout eye hole monster and a dirty Chair Orpian would be the ones to save the universe. Excuse me, you know what, boss? I gotta tell you, I really don't like you talking about my partner that way. Why's that, Trover? You do it all the time. You little piece of shit. What? No, no, I, no, no, I don't. Yes, you do, Trover. You, just the other day, you called him a lazy lap llama with limp dick little llama legs. I heard you say it. I, are you gonna fucking deny it to me right now in my face when I fucking heard you say it? And I fucking saw your lips move when you said it? You little fucking twerp. Now let's save the goddamn universe, Trover. Jesus Christ, look, I, I may have said those things, but it's different now. We're, 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 we're bonded. We're partners. I mean... You know what? We're gonna change the subject. We're gonna change the subject. Uh, we, 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 we got the crystal babies. Let's go, uh, let's, let's go fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Trover, let's go do it. Whatever you say. I, what, I, I, I don't even care. We're gonna save the cosmos. Take the crystal babies to the abstainers, plug them into their eyes and reconnect them, and then we'll reconvene and discuss the next steps. So listen, you heard a lot of stuff about me from Gale, and uh, all the stuff Gale said I did, it's true. I don't know why I'm telling you this, I, I'm a different person now than I was, you know? I did used to be cherished, and yeah, I used to pee in the sink, and yes, I, I fucked a shrinkle, and a dinkle, but I'm changed, I feel changed since I've been with you, and kind of we've been going on doing all this stuff together, I feel different towards Cherorpians, you know? I, you're just like me. We're on another level of friendship now. I drink a beer with you at my favorite drinking hole, the Empty Peepers. That's the place in my home world that I love to go to. They know how to deliver a drink right into your eye holes, but I'm sure we'd figure out a way for you to enjoy a drink there too. I'd tell them you're my pal, my Cherorpian pal, and I'd defend your back, because I know they'd all be really cherished towards you, because most of my planet is cherished. But anyways, you're my best friend now. Let's go finish up this shit. We're gonna be done with this, and then you and me are gonna be an Empty Peepers. Look who's back. Whoa, what did he do? Oh, jeez. He seems wasted. Oh, man. You know, I've been dying to tell you guys. You know, you know why Glorkon's doing all this, right? It's because of his true love. He's been trying to create the perfect recipe of planet combinations to bring about the existence of his dream girl. You know, his true love. What? Yeah, since Glorkon was able to see all the future eventualities, he's engineered the one hello, that- Hello, Cherorpian. Hello, Trover. Please hurry, install the crystal creatures into the drunk abstainer's eyes. I'm not drunk. I'm just talking. Uh, 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 uh. So, so, what, what, what do you want us to do to, you know, to help you get to be four? What do you think, Dum Dum? You have to find two more of the crystal creatures and then somehow get them plugged into Glorcon's eye holes. That will unite the four of us and we will once again be back normal and the, the whole thing, the reunited thing that we talked about earlier in the game. All right, okay, we're going to head out. Good, head out. And as you walk back to the telepod, we'll just go ahead and let you know that... You know, we don't know what's going on. You know, our brains are all amok. You know, it's all muddied. We can't really predict the future of anything right now because Glorcon's out there changing the present. You know, he's doing things and we don't know what the hell those the rippling effects are. We don't even know what he's up to. We have no idea what he's doing, but all we know is it's, it, we know for sure he's, he's just trying to bring, a, bring about the, the true love of his life. And, and you gotta just get those special creatures uh, anyways, what do you, what do you, what do you guys want to talk about? We're all talking in one unified voice. We're gonna put a special effect on all this so it sounds like three voices, like a flange or a chorus effect or something. So it actually sounds like three characters talking, despite the fact that it's just me, one, just me, the voice actor, talking. It's just one voice, but we put a special effect to make it sound like three characters talking at once you know what i'm done i'm i'm done i said enough who gives a shit about any of this hopefully you're already at the telepod and you've already closed the doors and you've left and we're just talking to ourselves
Cherorpi and Trover, good work. I see you've uh, got the abstainers all linked up. That's good to hear. Now, you're going to have to get those last two crystals, and you're going to want to go meet my buddy, one of my pals, a fella named George. He's got the next pair of special creatures stored in a secret place, secret planet. He'll probably hand them over to you with little effort on your part. He's a good dude, one of my best pals. And I uh, hope you guys, uh, Cherorpian, you doing, you feeling pretty good? You doing okay? All right, good, that's good. That's good to hear. I'm happy to hear that you're feeling good. All right, get out there and we're getting close. We're getting close to the final part of this whole thing. Boss, I'm feeling a little weird right now because we just found out Glorcon's motivation is just true love. Oh, that makes you feel weird, does it? Does that make you feel weird, Cherorpian? It does? Huh, well that's strange. I, I guess it is a noble and sort of relatable uh, motivation. He's just trying to find his true love. I mean, if anyone's ever been in love, they can certainly understand that, but... But it doesn't matter. He's trying to destroy the cosmos, and we need to get out there. So, so hurry up and get on to George. He's my pal. He's gonna hook you up. George, go talk to him. Take the telepod there. Hurry up. Get a hustle on. Oh, hey. What's going on? I'm bathtub guy. Oh shit! Oh, I I'm so sorry, hey, partner. I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh yes, I'm George. But when I'm in the bathroom, people call me bathtub guy. You guys here to play a little midnight shuffle? I mean, listen, we do have big stuff to do, but uh, I, well, I, maybe what's midnight shuffle? You know, midnight shuffle. It's when. Hey, can you chill out on the jumping? I'm trying to tell a story. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So, what I was saying was. Look, I gotta be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. Alright, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight shuffle, okay? Our boss sent us here to pick up some crystal babies. Oh, shit! Well, why didn't you say so? I know, boss, that SOB owes me 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really high, then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn and scream their ever-loving ass off. Ooh-wee, it's fun. <laughs> anyway, 12 days go by, and we finally get out of the tub, right? I mean, look at our bodies, we're all pruny. My fingers were so tiny, I wanted to touch them. And just as he's about to leave, I go, hey, man. That'll be 13 space dinero. And he's like, 13 what? Don't disrespect me by touching my duck. What the hell is wrong with you? So anyways, and just as he's about to leave, I go, now you better not do that again. Okay, cool. So, and just as he's about to leave, I go, hey, man, that'll be 13 space dinero. And he's like, 13 what? Then, all of a sudden, Boss takes off running. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Boss is as agile as a greased baby going down a water slide. So, the only way I'm going to catch him is if I pull out my hookah kooky and give him a whirl of pearly. So, that's what I do. I mean, that in real estate, of course. I've been selling a lot of real estate in Manhattan lately, so that's been working out, but property values are going up the roof. <laughs> so it's hard to find clients who actually want to invest into a property. But I always try to tell them, invest early, because if you don't, you'll be caught in a snowstorm later wishing you had. You don't want to be stuck in an apartment paying $4,000 worth of rent when you could have bought a place on 34th Street for less than that, do you? Ten years down the line, you won't even think about it. But my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. <laughs> but I just keep on talking about it because it's a great investment if you want to make something out of your life. Another great investment, ice cream on Sundays. Trust me, ice cream on Sundays will make you feel closer to God. Trust that because ice cream is sweet. And you know what else is sweet? Church. Church is very sweet. I'm a Christian man, but I don't necessarily believe in Christianity. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know, my mother certainly says it is, but I don't let that stop me from getting out and preaching half of the word. Now I'll grab a Bible, tear out half of it, and then live by that part of the Bible. 
Old Testament, New Testament, no clue. I just point to a page and I go. A lot of times that ends up being revelations. So I tell people, hey, if it's the end of the world, might as well get into real estate. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, sorry, Pat, bathtub guy, George, whatever. The world is at stake. Can you just hand over the crystal babies, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Well, I don't got them. They're on loan to Tech World. Oh, hey, shit, I know where Tech World is. Fucking Tech World, man. Great. Now let's see if you know where the door is. That means leave, asshole. You two turd birds come. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stop messing with my goddamn. Hey, what the hell are you doing? That's not yours. Put it. Thank you. Finally. What is wrong with you? I said don't. <laughs> Holy shit, partner, you just killed this guy! George, or whatever, bathtub guy, whatever his name is! What the hell's the matter with you? This, this guy wasn't doing anything to us! Jesus Christ! Okay, did you touch anything else? We can't leave any evidence behind, alright? Think! Who else knows that we're here? F boss, fuck! Okay, we gotta get our story straight. George was alive and well after we left. The, 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 the TV must have slipped on its own, alright? We gonna get- we got our story straight, yes or no? Alright, good, okay, I'm- I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm relaxed. This is 